welcome to everyone taking time out of their day to join me for Tuesday Tips with Taylor. Here at Always Best Care, we strive to provide quality care for our clients in the same way we provide care for a loved one. Yesterday, we celebrated Memorial Day, which is observed on the last Monday of May each year. Originally known as Decoration Day, it started in 1868 with General John A. Logan as a way to honor fallen soldiers by decorating their gravestones with flowers and prayers. Memorial Day was held on May 30th every year until Congress passed the Uniform Monday Holiday Act, which moved Memorial Day to the last Monday of each year. This went into effect in 1971 and was meant to allow federal employees a three-day weekend. Across the country, Memorial Day is associated with the red poppy, but many aren't familiar with the symbolism of the poppy. During World War I, an estimated 8.5 million soldiers died of disease or injury on the battlefield. From those same battlefields rose the red poppy, which was then made famous by Lieutenant Colonel John McRae, who served as a brigade surgeon for an Allied artillery unit. Lieutenant Colonel McRae was mesmerized by the sight of the bright red blooms on the same land that 87,000 of his fellow Allied soldiers were killed, and he wrote the poem In Flanders Fields as a result. The poem reads, in Flanders fields, the poppies blow, between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place, and in the sky, the lark still bravely singing fly. Scarce heard amid the guns below, we are the dead short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from failing hands we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep though poppies grow in Flanders fields. Stateside, a woman named Moina Michael read in Flanders fields on November 9th, 1918, which was two days before the armistice was signed, ending World War I. Moina was so touched by the poem that she vowed to always wear a red poppy as a symbol of remembrance of the lives lost in World War I. She wound up returning to Athens, Georgia after the war ended and decided to make and sell red silk poppies as a way to raise money for the veterans that were returning home from the war. The red poppy was then adopted by the National American Legion and was voted to be the official U.S. National Emblem of Remembrance in September of 1920, which we still see as a symbol 103 years later in 2023. The red petals of the poppy represent the blood of those who gave their lives. The black center is for mourning soldiers who didn't return home. And the green leaf shows the hope of continued prosperity after the war. Take some time this week to honor our fallen soldiers. We'd like to thank VFW Post 2046 for providing our office with poppies that we could use for our Memorial Day wreaths, which we delivered to the widows of our fallen soldiers that we're currently providing services to. If you'd like a poppy for remembrance, reach out to your local VFW and consider donating to help other veterans in need. Additionally, you can reach out to your local Veterans Administration or click on this link here to watch our video on different veterans benefits available. Thank you so much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you next time. Interested in learning more about our in-home care options or assisted living selection services? Give us a call at 860-533-9343. You can also find us on social media on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Or you can visit our website at www.abccentralct.com. Always Best Care has been in business since 2009, and it's where better options for senior living are a priority.